Hi, I'm Payam from Payam Data Recovery. Today I'm going to tell you how we look for matching Seagate heads when we're looking to replace uh, faulty or damaged heads in one of our clients' uh, Seagate hard drives with an identical uh, working set of heads from a good hard drive. Uh, we work on probably at least 15 of these every single day at our data recovery labs and the hard drives we see are clicking, ticking, they're not being detected and the heads have failed either due to shock or impact, someone's dropped it or banged it, um, or if the hard drive's just uh, failed due to old age, in most cases usually five or six or seven years old. So um, straight to it, here's some of the secrets that you're not going to find on online or from other places. There's a lot of misinformation out there and I learned the hard way. I've been recovering data for over 21 years and me and the data recovery engineers um, in our company have, have learned through trial and error and experience of our own to see what works and what doesn't work. So that's often the best way, but this is going to save you about 20 years of trial and error. So here we go. If you've got a faulty Seagate hard drive like this one right here, look for a model number and um, try and buy the hard drive with the exact same model number. Um, and then just above it, the serial number, simply look for the first three characters of the serial number and match the first three characters and the full model number and you're done. 99% of the time, the, the, the heads and the preamplifier inside will be compatible uh, with your faulty hard drive and the good one. And in 99% in of the cases, it will just work. Um, if you have a different serial number, first three characters and same model number, more than likely it's not going to be compatible and uh, the drive may exhibit similar or different symptoms. It may, instead of a slow click, it might make a fast ticking sound indicating the heads are not compatible um, and I've got another one over here another Seagate drive different one one terabyte one same thing we would look for the full model number in this case st 31000340 ns I would look for that on I'll do a search for an eBay or Amazon for example and then I would look for one that has a serial number 9qj um, so I would usually put 9qj in the search terms as well on online um, otherwise if it doesn't show up in a search and for example eBay doesn't show up maybe the serial number I would zoom into the picture the image make sure it's the actual image of the drive not just a stock image of Google images and then see if the serial number matches I would also buy the drive and send a message to the person I'm buying from that I need that exact drive in the picture and it has to have the serial number model number as I need it and often they'll, they'll like computer resellers um, may just send you a similar one and they, they may not realize that you actually need that. Um, last tip, um, lesser known um, method. So a 2.5 inch set of um, heads from a Seagate hard drive over here. Um, if you open it up inside there's a very small sticker and um, if we look carefully on, on this part here, it says A, G, and then some other characters. So generally, if you're looking for um, compatible parts and you're not 100% sure and you buy a drive, let's say that has no label on there or the label's been ripped off, um, you can look for either A, G, T, I, or L, S, I. Um, if the hard drive that you buy has actually got that the first couple of characters there um, compared to the one that you're trying to repair then there's a good chance it'll also be compatible but in order to, to have a look at that you need, need a class 100 clean room or laminar flow cabinet or dust free environment and when you open the two drives up the faulty one and the good one you can very easily confirm if the head or preamplifier type are actually the same um, there's always exceptions to the rule there's some rare cases where this won't work but i'd say you know at, at my company in Payam Data Recovery, we've recovered data from over 50,000 hard drives in the last 20 years, and at least 99% of the time this works. This took us you know, over 15 years of trial and error and experience to develop these, these methods um, and know that it works with it and trust it. Um, but if you're ever in doubt, uh, we use a 1,000 times magnification microscope that we bought. Um, so the digital microscope is not too expensive. I think it costs us around 600 US dollars. And we can basically put, um, put the heads basically like here, um, basically just put it under a microscope uh, and compare the one that we purchased with the faulty one and to see if they're actually, that the pattern on the head's actually exactly the same. Um, so that's to be really, really thorough if you're, if you're finding that you're replacing the heads and, and you still can't get the drive working. Um, but in my experience, if you've replaced the heads and they're compatible based on a model number and serial number um, and it's still not working, then maybe you've, you've got a different issue. Often we see um, um, some of the newer data recovery engineers that work for us and they're getting, they're getting their training and they sort of um, give up and they think their drive's too badly damaged. Um, it's often that maybe our, one of our clients have taken it to a computer store or a computer shop or, or tried to do a do-it-yourself repair and they've swapped the PCB or the printed circuit board and maybe moved the ROM chip or haven't moved the ROM chip and then they sent it to us with the wrong PCB or wrong, incorrect ROM chip, um, which is spelled R-O-M in capital letters. Um, and it's possible that maybe it's just called the incompatible PCB and it never had a problem with the heads to begin with. Um, often you don't know, you just have to eliminate things one at a time until you get the drive working. 
So I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. I'll be making some future videos on other brands of hard drives uh, and part matching criteria for head replacement. So future videos will include Western Digital and Hitachi and Toshiba um, and many more. So I hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions, post a comment, but please uh, like and share this and support our business. Thanks.